Hey, what's your shaky bus? And welcome back to my channel. So today we will talk to you guys about combating heat. So in Singapore, we off a lot of heat because Singapore is actually in a tropical climate. So you can actually see outside here, uh, it's being shaded. However, it's always very sunny. It's always around, you know, uh, 28 to 33, sometimes 35 degrees. Uh, it is really hot and it's very humid as well. So it is a tropical country. And how do we actually combat heat in that sense for caridina streams or even neo caridinas? I think the number one tip that I would say is that if you are not able to get an AC, you can consider like uh, AC or DC fan. It actually helps. And you know, so that's the first thing. The second thing is you can actually you know for certain tanks, like for example, if you have just like uh, two or three tanks, you might want to consider lowering through using ice packs so ice packs actually help in that sense is that uh, it helps to man lower the temperature and but of course you have to do a lot of ice packs over time so if you have a few tanks you can actually use ice packs uh, we actually see some uh, aquarium shops in singapore that they actually do have a you know a, a, a behind a ugf there's a ugf or even a menthol filter so what they do is that they float the ice right behind uh, when the shop opens so that is one way to to combat heat uh, to reduce it because in Singapore like I've mentioned it is often very very hot and very humid so that is the reason why you know we use different types of method to actually cool down our tank so the first one will be you know AC or DC fan uh, that will help because it actually blows uh, you know it actually helps to evaporate the water uh, of course you know when the evaporation goes high you know, there's a lot of evaporation then your tank water will actually uh, you need to do a lot more top-ups in, in that sense so that's the trade-off if you're using AC or DC fan so the third one so the second one will be ice pack so the third one will be using like a full-size chiller a full-size chiller is what we actually used the last time uh, where you actually run you know stainless steel pipes across the tank and then it runs through a, a, a cooler box and then after that a chiller so that's tip number three so number four, which is most mostly overlooked at, is uh, flow. Flow, like for example, the using the ACDC fan uh, methodology, it actually helps to blow through the surface of the water, which reduces the temperature of the tank. And for flow like this, it actually helps it as well. So the faster the flow, the higher the evaporation rate actually. So with the evaporation rate being higher, it actually cools down the, the entire tank water. Another tip on flow and ACDC fan is that tank size selection. So tank size selection, for example, over here, we can actually see uh, smaller tanks and larger tanks. The larger the tank, it, it is the, and once the temperature goes down, when it's being cooled, it actually stays cool for a much longer time versus a, a smaller tank. So if, like for example in Singapore, you know, we are not blessed with cool weather, so we are always very hot. Uh, we use AC to cool down our, our tank and of course cool down the entire room. Uh, but however, the bigger the tank, the higher the volume, the better it is that it actually retains the, the, the coolness because it has a larger water volume. And when it's being, you know, uh, multiplied by multiple tanks, it actually helps to cool and keep the entire room cool for much a longer time versus having small tanks and of course you know uh, if two tanks is the same size as one tank then definitely there is some differences um, which I'm going to talk about which is the flow over here the filter flow and how it is being driven like for example we, uh, for those who have been following me you know I'm using a Fujimac air pump and the Fujimac air pump if you use a much larger capacity pump like for example this is a you know a 27 watts so this is the smallest of the Fujimax series they come in much larger ones like for example a twin maybe an 80 or 120 which then you know uh, overpowers everything of course from a flow perspective i will have a lot of uh, security however from a heat dissipation or heat emission perspective it is actually better to have a smaller or a more uh, sufficient sufficient air pump that drive the sponge filter 
of a desired weighted power. The reason is because if you use a very big pump, you use a huge pump, yes, one, you are able to actually drive more tanks and more pump, uh, more outlets. However, if you're not using them, it actually generates a lot of heat. So all of these pumps actually generate a lot of heat. Like for example, if you're using a hang-on back filter, like this. So I have like hang-on back filters over here. Uh, they also generate quite substantial amount of heat because each of these uh, pump or this motor is actually probably I think um, I think it was 16, 16 watts or so which means that this pump this air pump is only 27 watts and this hang on back is let's say 16 watts and if you have 16 watts of of heat dissipate emitted from this one and if you multiply it across it actually you know, heats up the tank fairly uh, quite a bit I would, I would say so which means that when we are looking at how do we actually optimize our cooling or how do we minimize the heat emitted from all these uh, gadgets or all these uh, you know, equipments we have to really look at optimizing our equipment in a very different way and that's the reason because, because Singapore is very hot so uh, we try our very best to actually try to not emit as much heat as possible and then because it is counterintuitive by you know having ACs here we have ACs here and then we have ACs there so we have a lot of AC and it defeats the purpose of having so many aircon in the in the stream room if we are not controlling the heat emission so the heat emission is one of the things that we are always trying to look at and see how do we actually um, trap the heat uh, trap the heat as in trap the coolness of the water and not to let it rise so they are so once we are done with all the discharge pipes and and uh, everything so the next thing we are actually looking at is that how do we actually retain the coolness in the room by insulation by you know uh, should we actually do a, a cover over here or how do we actually help to reduce the heat from everything here so so these are all kind of like uh, optimization uh, things that we are trying to do and then so like I've mentioned you know, the sufficient air pump don't use a big air pump use a sufficient size one that can actually drive whatever number of tanks you, you have and you know have a flow a good flow so like a good flow versus you know this this will, will generally helps to dissipate more heat and help to reduce the tank water temperature faster than you know like this this is not efficient in terms of heat dissipation uh, this will be much more efficient and coupled with a uh, ac or dc fan it actually helps to you know blow and help to uh, evaporate the water much faster so there are quite a bit of course this one over here it helps but what we want is actually the flow because when you put an ac fan you, you can actually see that the output of the flow is similar to to what is actually happening over here so as a summary we want to talk about you know ac dc fan so that's one number two ice pack so you can do ice pack or you can even do a combination of all you know you can do ice pack ac dc fan and if you are looking at a much longer term then maybe a chiller and an aircon aircon unit so aircon unit there are portable aircons and of course you know uh, wall mounted aircon window uh, uh, placements aircon as well so there are many types of aircon uh, that you can consider for combating heat so i hope you guys you know uh, enjoy this uh, or learn something from this video and you know i understand that in the us right now in in europe it's summer there's a lot of heat and this is something in Singapore we are always constantly uh, battling with because Singapore is a tropical country, there's a lot of heat and we want to optimize the heat emission as best as we can. So thank you guys for watching this video. Please remember to give a thumbs up and for those who are new to this video, new to this channel, please remember to subscribe. And until next time, peace out.